What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time, I'm back. I actually wanna get back into making videos again. So I'm waiting on my friend Shelly. We're actually gonna go check out this Pikes Peak train. Sim, very interesting and maybe this castle that we also seen that's close by. So I'm super, super excited to go do that. Today is pretty nice. It's actually, I think in the fifties. So we'll basically probably see like little snow once we get up to Pikes Peak, but I'm super excited. I'm waiting on her. She's not here yet. Where you at girl? Where you at? But she's going to try so I can like do more filming. But yes, welcome back to the channel. And yes, I'm excited. I'm getting ready to do more videos and we'll see you later. Okay, so we finally on the train. Um, he said it's negative 15. <laughs> That's cool as fuck. Is that cool as fuck? Oh, wait. Shelly? What? I said we finally on this train. He said it's negative 15. Yeah, he said it's cold. Get your, get your winter gear on. I guess I'm winter gear ready. Like, I have like this. I know I'm wearing like. We'll be alright. We'll be fine. So we're waiting right now for the train start. Uh, as at the train starts and uh, <laughs> we're seated super close. We didn't get a window seat, but it's okay. We're good. You have to share. Be back. So we just started moving, so we'll see how this goes. Did not get a window seat. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see people hiking up there. I see people hiking up there. I see people hiking up there. Oh, that's the incline one. Yeah. Hell no, I'm not doing that one. Oh, there. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I thought I'd just try my phone to see if it's a different part. Oh, it's not going to that. Okay, so we 
we're still not going to get this I'd rather we did our all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first attraction of the day. So really quick before you miss it, everybody look to your left. <laughs> look to your right. Doesn't work, does it? So guys, here, here's something I'm going to show size up along your journey. Everybody down here in car three, look up. Guys, we have the two seat side, two seat side, and then we have the three seat side. Okay, guys, up here in car one, we have the three seat side. And then we have the two seat side. So let's go ahead and practice this right now. Coming up on everybody's two seat side. As soon as we get past this boulder that's right here off the train tracks, so you're going to see another rock right after it. Now, this rock, it looks exactly like a diamond on a playing card. Now, us here at the Pikes Peak and Manitou Cockroach Road, we're pretty original with the names we have around here. So, guys, we have Diamond Rock Formation. But I don't want you to look way into the clouds. I want you to look track level right up at your TC side. As soon as we get past this boulder that's right here off the train tracks, you're going to see another rock right after it. And this rock looks exactly like a diamond on a playing card. Track level right up at your TC side. What are we looking for? Right past it. It looks like I thought it was like a diamond. Well, let's see, right past it. Oh, right there. I see that rock shape like a diamond. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. Now all these boulders we're looking at right now, they're made of Pikes Peak Granite. Pikes Peak Granite is made up of three different things, quartz, feldspar, and like them, so Pikes Peak Granite. Now the way diamond rock formation and other rock formations happen to come around, that is a natural process called ice wedging. Ice wedging, it takes a couple million years to happen, but over time, water seeps into the cracks of these boulders, it freezes and expands. And over a course of a couple million years, it finally breaks them up into formations like diamond rock formation. That's a natural process called ice wedging. Gave 25 feet in elevation. Hmm. That's a lot. <laughs>
That's crazy. You can feel it. I feel it. I don't ever feel bad when I go like, to Winter Park or something. You ever feel it? Like 90 of these pictures, I'm just like snapping on the window. You got pictures. I'll probably borrow some of your pictures if I need some pictures. But I don't think yeah, I need no pictures. I'm done the video. Tell him when to get up there. Uh, 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 yeah, I can feel it. I get questions every single train trip to rocks and boulders ever fall into the tracks. That's a good question. Yeah, that happens every now and then. That's a good question, right? Because I was thinking about these boulders. Look how big they are. We have prop rock formation. Let's go ahead and change over here.
hibernation right now. Winter sun is coming out of hibernation, coming in the beginning of May. We have lots of deer, lots of squirrels below tree line. I've seen Arctic ravens. I've seen uh, wild turkeys. We have foxes, coyotes, and raccoons below tree line. Now up above tree line. Where's the, so the trees stop, and there's only arctic tundra. Okay, I'm happy. Yes. So, right, guys? Yeah. 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 So you can tell the wind is picking up over there. <laughs> 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 Yeah. We're getting close up there. I just want to stay there. I said I never see it. Yeah. 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 My ears are popping. I keep trying to swallow them and stuff, you know. I'm right up your three seaside. You're going to see a mountain facing us with a barren slope. This mountain with a barren slope is named as Mount El Magre, or as we've nicknamed them, Calendar Mountain. Because this mountain is exactly 12,365 feet tall. Now, Mount El is a great example of tree line because the mountain shows up for really good characteristics. Water levels, sunshine levels, oxygen and erosion makes up tree line. Now, Mount El Magre gets less sunshine in the afternoon than Pikes Peak does. So right now, the tree line on Mount El Magre is about 500 feet shorter than the Pikes Peak is. If you look at the bottom of Mount El Magre at the base of the mountain, you're going to see a horizontal line cut to the trees. Now that horizontal line at the bottom of Mount Elmagre is actually the caretaker of the local hydroelectric plants, 60 mile long private driveway. Here's the tree that they were talking about. Yeah, we're like 12,000, you said, about 12,000? Oh, over 12,000, yeah. Yeah, we're pretty high up. <laughs> that is a lot. Looks like it's right now. I apologize, but we do have a grave up here dedicated to Bill O'Neill, who died in an accidental dynamite explosion back in the late 1890s. He said they have a grave, a grave for the for the mule. A grave for the mule. That's crazy. Okay, so we finally made it up to the top of Pikes Peak in Manistee Springs. It is. It's freezing. As you can see, I was a lot out of breath. Um, altitude was at 14,000 feet. The wind chills were 150 miles per hour. I could barely breathe very well, and I was freezing. So you really wasn't hearing much that I was saying, and I do apologize for the wind. I didn't realize it was going to be so much interference on my microphone. But this is the observatory part. Eventually, I go back inside so I can catch my breath and get myself together. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I really felt like I was getting a little bit airheady.
You know, it hilarious. Is, just, so I didn't know how to act. Once I got Sorry, back inside and got far. some We're getting warmth, there. that kind of got my senses back. She, she, I'll get some of her. I'll get some of her pictures. I'm not going over there. My lips are freezing. <laughs> this is our train right here. We can look at the Pikes Peak Summit. It's right here. She, uh, she's still back that way. Unfortunately, I was not walking that far back where Shelly's at. Like the wind was ridiculous, um, freezing. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go back that way. I guess we'll get a view over here. coming back she she is over there being crazy there's no way I'm about to go back over there oh my god it's so cold. there's another uh She's probably over there taking selfies. As you can see, this is the railroad that we came on all the way around. Take selfies. I'm good. I'm going to go in here and get warmed up for a little bit. And I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I'm back, you guys. Sorry. Super cold. I'm actually waiting for Shelly to come back so I can catch up with her. She's out on like the out part where the wind is blowing. I'm not going back out there. It's too cold. <clears throat> you can see the inside view. Let's see if I can find her. Where did she go? Okay, she clearly has lost her mind. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and. <clears throat> this is like the little exhibit. The natural beauty of Pikes Peak has lured visitors for generations. But beauty can be deceiving. The 
the mountain, he's also harsh, unforgiving, and dangerous. Pikes Peak's rugged landscape has been forged over millions of years. Tectonic plates scraping against one another deep beneath the Earth's crust compress the land upwards, creating the Rocky Mountains. Friction and molten magma forced granite to the surface. Erosion from ice, wind, rain, and snow shaped its contours and continues to transform the mountain today. For centuries, indigenous people oh, yeah, have lived here, like, tracing their very creation to the mountain's summit. Here, European yeah. explorers and new American settlers also set their sights on the sacred mountain. Some, like in Tetris, Pike, were entitled to the challenge of reaching its summit. Others were lured by the prospect of riches or the promise of a new home. For many, the Great Mountain was the first thing they saw when crossing into the Colorado Territory at the end of a long and arduous journey. When the first road was constructed in 1887, the carriage climbed the 19 miles of ski curve and the long hill for a long ago. By 1890, riders could back and join the trail to the top of the Rim. Are you sort of bread to play? Mm -hmm. Definitely felt a little bit different when I walked in. This is right now. This is not a mountain boom town, but a plant. Mm -hmm. This is that race track coming here. The bad mirror tracks. Oh, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do this. Many Native Americans. Arapaho call it Pai of Hawaii. 
or the long mountain. To the Pawnee, it is Dom's Pay, mountain that touches the sky. It would also be called the Sierra. Okay, I'm gonna go look for Shelly. I have no idea where she's at. She was out there taking pictures. Oh, she didn't slip and fall Today, off this mountain somewhere in here. She just peak. like ran off without me. I'm like, what is that? Where are you at, Shelly? Where are you at? <laughs> Let me go try to find From her. the grassy meadows of its foothills, up to the pines, firs, and aspens of the montane zone, She's the evergreens of the subalpine zone, to the subalpine grasses. She yet. What is this? I don't see this. You and the sun. It. On the sun. Do you see the sun? Oh. 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 Donuts. Oh, she's not still out here. I'm gonna walk out here one more time just to see if she's out here. Hopefully she's not, because it is so freaking cold out here. The windshield is ridiculous. Yeah, let's see if I can uh, look for her really quickly. I'm not going to say too long. Pikes Peak Summit Visitor Center. You can see that. Walk back over there. Probably missed her. Oh my gosh. We looked in over there. I mean, I think we're at the very top. You can actually look all the way over. I apologize again, guys. It looks like I was basically saying you can see the border of Kansas as we were looking out. And my crazy self is still looking for Shelly. I don't know why she failed to connect with me anyway. So I'm back out there just getting, you know, some amazing views and pictures and whatever else and then I go back in and try to get warm again. The windshield is crazy. My legs are freezing. I can't even feel my lips right now. My lips are freezing. here earlier when we first got off the train. I couldn't breathe very well. It's super lightheaded because you know the altitude is super high. 14,000. Okay, she's not here. So I am just going to go back see if I could find her. So I'm going to go back in because I am freezing. She probably went in and got some donuts. But I'm going to go back in and see if I can warm up a little bit. I'll show you a little bit more once I get in. But yeah, this is a... If you have never been out, I would definitely suggest coming up to the Pikes Peak Summit. It's it's like a beautiful ride up. Here's the train again that we took. The Rodmere Monitor. That's our train. Alright. We'll go back in and see if I can warm up for just a bit because I think they. They told us to be back on our train by 
and it's getting close right now. I think it's 342. Yeah. I'm gonna go right back in and see if I can grab like some water and a donut and I'll be back. Questions. I'm on the train, so I'm gonna walk around and I'll answer any questions anybody asks. But I'm gonna go ahead and take care of two okay, questions. Okay, Shelly, she went on her own trip. little Guys, um, exploring. Guys, I do not know what the weather is. So she wasn't with me to record very much, but she, she did some exploring. I probably should have gave you the camera to, to probably mountain. take over there. You, you could have took the camera and got all kind of stuff, but I didn't get all that because I was too cold. I was cold. And extra snow drifts. If the snow is over 10 feet high, we're not gonna come to the top of the mountain either. So wind speed over 60 miles per hour is a no-go. The next is snow drifts. Snow drifts are the next common, most common. So if the snow is over 10 feet high on the snow track on the road trucks, we're not going to go to the top of the mountain. So if you have a question, feel free to ask. I'm going to walk around from the car. So back on the train, and we're on our way back down. I wish I could have gave my picture, my camera to Shelly. She could have did more but then you capturing like that. Yeah, that's okay. Like you were dying. I got a little something, and you know we're gonna go with that. Next time, maybe next time I come up, I'll come up on a different time where it's not like freezing. Maybe in fall, summer or fall. Yeah. Show me that picture. Show me that picture. Oh, let's see. I got a bunch of them. That one, I do like that one. That's a good picture. This is what you would look like if you were going to die like me out there. Like that. That's a good picture. Yeah, she could have died. She could have came up missing, frozen. We missed out. Okay, so guys, we just got done eating dinner after going up to Pikes Peak. And I don't know if you remember me talking about, where is Shelly at? I don't know where she's at. She's out taking selfies. Well, off the beaten path. Yeah. <laughs> well, why? Why would you do that? Explore. I was excited about seeing what was out there and I thought it led to the building and I was really stupid, y'all. You where were y'all come from now too? <laughs> You really wasn't supposed to be over yeah, there? Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to be where I was at. I was on the street side of the Pikes Peak Railroad. Yeah, she went exploring without me, but that's fine, because you could have you could have slipped off on, on the mountaintop yes, somewhere, and I'd be like... Dad, no, wait, this isn't where we're yeah, going. you can turn right here. Okay. Yeah, this is my turn. But anyway, we just wanted to um, finish up the night. It was a great little trip. 14,000 feet yeah. up. Yeah. And the altitude was felt like as soon as I got off of the train. No, go straight. I'm gonna take you another way. Sorry. As soon as I got off the train, <laughs> turn right at that stop sign. As soon as I got off the train, I felt weak. I felt dizzy. Like I was out. And then that Arctic breeze flew in. I was like, oh hell no. Going and then inside. I got my ears popped up. My ears are all stuffy, stuffy. And then this one wanted to go. I probably got an earache from the tundra. <laughs> Your ears are still clogged up. Okay, I'm gonna go around that way. So we're home, but let me know what you guys felt about the video. We had a good time. And let us know what you thought about it.